The Rush Figurehead has been such an interesting project, sort of like detective work, really. It's sort of a museum CSI, where we're able to take our skills as conservators and, and as scientists and examine something using all of the available analytical tools that we have. What we know about the figurehead, when it first appeared in New York, it had about 25 coats of paint on it. People were talking about it as if it was something that might be by William Rush, who is well known as one of the first great American artists. So the first thing we were able to do was take x-rays so that we could examine the sculpture and look inside. And that showed us things like old repairs. There are some repairs that must have been done very early on. You can see that the nails were already handmade nails, so that indicates that they're very old. We were able to find buckshot. She must have had some very bad days because somebody shot at her. And there's a scatter of shot across her face and her chest. So she's had a pretty interesting and tough life. But one of the other things we were able to discover is how beautiful the carving was beneath all of the thick layers of paint. To acquire a figurehead by William Rush was very important for us in order to help to lay out figureheads as part of the early American carving tradition in a broader sense and not just for ships and not just for a maritime community but as part of a broader base of uh, making art in America. When conservation is done on the figurehead, we're going to no doubt find a very prominent location for her and I'm sure it will, it will be uh, in the new galleries, probably surrounded by some other um, paintings and objects uh, of the period that show her to her best advantage. 